Hey, hey, hey. So I made this little guy. He's kind of like an old man, but like, I don't know. He just like seems sad. <laughs> yeah, so I, I carved him out, whittled him down out of basswood. And he stands. He just kind of stands like that. Looks kind of cool, you know? It reminds me like how Native Americans would create little totem poles and like little old men and trees. Cause think about when you be think about how bored people used to be in the past. If you were like walking in the woods, and you would like stop and like carve out a tree, a face on a tree. So I think that's how this tradition got started. You know, people getting bored hanging out in the woods, and like carving you know a face on a tree bark. And then if you walked through that forest with all those faces carved in it, I think that's how like people decorated certain trees in the past, and why that tradition of carving a little old man in a wood. Is like so poetic because it's like you're connecting to the forest in the past right like what the traditions of like the past were and like you know father time mother nature men in the woods like all these little folk things we talk about so I really like to carve things I don't know there's some people who are so good at whittling and they do it so fast but I kind of do it like I don't know I just start moving my hand and when my hand doesn't want to do it anymore I just stop and then I'll come the next day and like, okay, what color do I want to put it? And why do I want to do it that way? How simple? How intricate do I want it? But it's cool when you can just flow and do something. Do you craft? Let me know.